What's up everybody, this is Antoine Goodwin with CNET.com. I'm on the floor of CES 2012 in Pioneer's booth, taking a look at the App Radio 2. Now what Pioneer's done is they've taken the App Radio that they debuted last year with the uh, iPhone app integration. Uh, this one works with iPhone 4 and iPhone S, and they've made it a little bit better. No small changes add up to for a pretty big new device. We've got a bigger seven inch capacitive touch screen that's multi-touch, so when you're in your Google Maps, you can actually pinch and zoom and swipe and scroll, that sort of thing. Uh, they've also added, in this generation, Android connectivity. So if you have an Android phone that has a micro HDMI or an MLT connection, uh, then you can basically uh, connect to the Android phone and take control of it right here in the interface as well. So we've got apps like Pandora and Waze for navigation that you'll be able to use on the Android device in addition to the, the apps that they uh, mentioned last year uh, with the iPhone 4S. We've also got more audio outputs in the back, which should make this a more compelling device for users who want to build systems with multiple amps. Uh, there's also a dedicated rear view camera input, so if you want to add backup camera, you can do all of that right here. It's a mech free device, so it doesn't have an optical drive. You can't play CDs or DVDs in here. But if you really want to do that, they've added an advanced app mode to their navigation and DVD receivers. So if you want to get the best of both worlds, you can also take a look at one of those devices right here. I've been Antoine Goodwin. I'm on the floor of CES 2012. This is the Pioneer App Radio, and I think it's pretty cool.